Jesus, Jesus. I surrender all to you. Yes, Lord, do, Lord. I love you, Lord. I surrender everything to you. I give you my everything, Father Lord. My heart, my mind, my body, my soul belongs to you, Father Lord. I'm not ashamed of you. I know you are real. That's why I'm able to sit here and do this video and talk to you, God. Because I'm not ashamed of you, Lord. I just thank you for being my Lord and Savior, Father Lord. And I thank you, God, that you are my everything, Father Lord. I thank you that you are the living God and you reside in me because I have the Holy Spirit, Father Lord. I just thank you that everything the Word of God says you are, Father Lord, that's what you are to me, Father Lord. You are not a liar, Father Lord. You cannot lie, Father Lord. But it's all about believing and have faith, Father Lord. And that's what I want these people to do is have faith in you God our Lord and believe the word of God and believe that you are real and that you are still the living God and you are still in control but I just thank you for being my Lord and Savior and I believe you Lord I'm, I'm a servant to the day I die in Jesus name what's up guys sorry about that I just had to give God some praise because you know he is my everything and I'm not ashamed of him that's why I was able to pray to him in this video You know what's come to my attention? That a lot of you guys just don't believe. Just don't have faith in God. And I don't know what it's going to take for God to do in your life for Him to prove that He's real. But He's real. I guarantee you, I put my life on the line to tell you that God is real. And how do I know this? Because I read the Word of God, I believed the Word of God, and I heard the Word of God. It's all by faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So I heard the word of God and I believed. I said, well, Jesus, I heard that you did this miracle, that miracle, and that miracle. And I heard you died for my sins. Oh, I want to be saved. I don't want to be a sinner. If you said that I'm a sinner in your word, then I don't want to be a sinner. I want to be saved. So I heard that and I listened and I obeyed. And it's true. God is not a liar. I'm saved. I'm saved by his word. I'm saved by his blood. And this is all by faith. It's all by faith. I read it. I heard it. And I believe it. Faith. And he also said that he will give us his Holy Spirit. After, being, after repenting for our sins and being baptized in Jesus' name, he will give us his Spirit. And I have the living God inside of me. I have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as God gives others. Yes, the one language that this Satan cannot understand. It's the language between you and God. Yes, God made sure he may has proof. He hadn't had to make proof so that he can prove to people that, look, I'm talking to my people in a language that not even the devil understands. The devil understands every other language but that language, the tongues that you talk to God. And that's our proof. That is our evidence that God, the living spirit that lives in us, is a mediator. Is a mediator between you and between itself and Christ. His spirit and God in heaven. And that's why it's so important for us to have the Holy Ghost so it will lead you and guide you to live right. The reason why I'm living right and how I'm living so strong for God is because my Holy Spirit is inside of me. And I edify, I feed, feed it the Word of God. And God brings out out of me what He wants to come out of me. I'm not doing this on my own. I'm not sitting doing this video for you guys on my own. I'm doing this for Jesus Christ. I'm doing this because He wants you guys to be saved. And he wants you guys to have His Spirit. Because some of you guys are being tormented right now with, with evil spirits. Because the devil is the prince of the air. It's in the Bible. God gave him prince of the air. And he gave the demons, his demons, rule over the air too. So evil spirits fly around and they can go in people's bodies. But when you have the spirit of God in you, no evil spirit can come in you. We're living in a spiritual warfare. God is good, the devil is evil. And we're now in the last of the evil days. And God is soon to return. That's why he said that he'll pour out his spirit upon his people that believe. He's ready to give you his spirit. He's ready for you to be ready. But you have to give up everything for Christ. You have to sacrifice your flesh. No fornication. No sex before marriage. I know you guys are young. You young guys out there. I know it. You know, I used to be out there too. But you know, I was like, you know what, God? I give my life to you. You know what? No sex before marriage. No sex before marriage. It is what it is. You know, it's just something we have to overcome. I know our flesh rises up. And you're like, oh yeah, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. No, you don't. It's all about controlling the flesh. And with the Holy Spirit, God would allow you to control this flesh. Even from getting angry and getting mad and wanting to fight somebody. Because God is not a God is not in fighting. Even though, even though He will fight for us, He's not for you just going to go start a fight. That's not how He works. You know, but when someone comes to you and brings you trouble and you didn't do nothing to them, that's when He will equip you to fight. Sorry about that. My laptop. Um and you know, 
we have a great guide, and you guys don't even know it. You guys haven't even tapped to his power yet because you guys don't have the Holy Spirit. And that's why I preach about the Holy Ghost so much because it's so important to have. Nowadays, in 2017, if you're a believer in Christ, I beg you, I beg you to ask God for the Spirit. And it will lead and guide you into all truth and understanding. God has revealed so much to me that I'm going to reveal to you guys on this YouTube channel. You guys have no idea. God blows my mind and I'm going to show you things that he blows my mind with. You know, and it's all because of what he's shown me and I believe everything. You know, we are living in the last days and he's soon to return. The signs are here. The signs are here. The Antichrist, the man of prohibition is soon to come in power. As soon as we get to the point as a society where cash is useless, and that's coming. Right there, everything's going to cards, PayPal's, pay on your phones. It's all getting ready for the Antichrist system of you have to buy it with the mark of the beast. 666. Six, six. And a lot of you out there are playing games, writing 666 six, six like it's a thing to do, not knowing that you guys are invoking the man of prohibition. The man that's going to call himself a god. The man that's going to do fake miracles and proclaim that he's God and sit on God's throne. And a lot of people are going to be allude to how he talks and stuff and thinks that he is God. But here's my warning to all you guys. If you believe in Jesus Christ, know that our God is coming back on the clouds. He's not going to be some military figure who the Antichrist is going to be. He's going to be a great military figure that's going to come out and captivate the world by how he talks and what he does and the little things he does. He's going to, he's going to quote the Bible, but he's not God. By, and God says in the Bible, that's why it's important to read King James Bible or the Holy Bible. Any Holy Bible, that's the Bible you read. It talks about God coming in the clouds. And every knee and every bow, every knee, every tongue is going to confess when Jesus Christ comes that he is Lord and God. He's going to make everyone bow at that time. So all of you guys that say, I want, I want to submit to God, oh yeah, everyone's going to submit. It's going to be like, boom, it's going to make you the force of God. It's going to make everyone say, this is the Lord and God. That's how powerful God is. And that's what he's going to do to you non-believers that don't believe that he's real. Because he's real. He's a living God. He created everything. And for you to think in your mind that there's no person above, that no one created this, it was evolution. You were absolutely wrong. The devil came to trick the world. That's why there's evolution. That's why there's different religions. Because the devil does not want you to know the truth. If he could get you from knowing the truth in the Bible, that's it. He's already won. But if, he, if you learn the truth in the Bible, he's lost. Because we know in the Bible the devil's already defeated. We don't have to worry about him. He's already defeated. We just have to go through life no matter what the problems is and keep believing in Christ. And know that one day soon, whether you die or you're here during the rapture, you're good. You're safe. Jesus Christ is coming for us. Don't worry about it. And that's what I want you guys to, to be excited about. I want you guys to just serve God and give him your all in all. You know, don't, just, just give it up. Give up yourself. You have to give up yourself to Christ. You have to. You have to just stop cussing. I know it's hard. I had to stop cussing too. I'm not perfect. But I gave it up for Christ. Like I said, lust for women. I don't lust for women. I can look at a woman and not lust for her. But lusting is that next phase where you guys attempt to create the images in your head of what you want to do. That's lust. But you can look at a woman, you know, for us guys. Same thing for you girls. When you look at a man and you think about what you want to do with him, you know, on the other side of the door, that's lust. But you can just look at him and say, oh, that person looks nice. There's nothing wrong with that, you know. God is a good God. He's a just God. And people just don't know how great he is because they won't give him a chance to, to show them. You know, they won't open the heart. You have to open your heart to Jesus Christ. You know, and I love God above everything and everyone because he is so grand. People try to put him in this little box. You can't put God in no box. He's so grand. He's so big. And I just pray that you guys open, uh, God will open up your understanding. That you guys will read the Bible and ask for understanding and ask for the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in Jesus' name. Just go to a, a church that's Bible teaching, teaching about Jesus Christ. Remember, it has to be teaching in Jesus Christ. That's the only way, the truth, and life. Remember, God says that in his word. He is the way, the truth, and life. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. So make sure you go into a church that's Bible teaching in Jesus Christ and in Jesus' name. That's the church you want to go to. You know, it doesn't matter what religion you came from, whether you're a Buddhist or a Catholic or whatever. Wherever you came from as a child, don't worry about that. Even children now, even you young kids out there, like, don't be afraid. Now is the time. Give your life to Christ. Don't wait till you get old because it may be too late. Because God said he calls the young while they're young. There's a reason why he calls us because he needs us while we're young. And that's why I'm 26 years old, but I've been in church since I was, I want to say, a kid. 
but I didn't get the full representation of Christ until I received the Holy Ghost. You know, at the age of 14, I wanted it. God gave it to me. And I had a, I have, I've been having a spirit living inside of me since 14. I'm 26 now. That's over 10 years. That's about 24. That's 10 years, 25, 26. So that's 12 years. God has been inside of me, not just around me. A lot of you guys have God around him. God is around us. But he doesn't want to just be around you. He wants to be inside of you. So that way you can do the right things and say the right things at the same time. Because his spirit will lead and guide us. That's why I'm so happy. That's why I talk to people with respect. And because his spirit leads me to do that. Not me. It's his spirit. Everything I do is to glorify God. I cannot do nothing. He's the one who wakes me up. He's the one who puts breath in my body. And that's why I love him so much. That's why I, I could take care of myself and my family because Jesus Christ takes care of me. And I give him all the praise, all the glory, and all the worship because it belongs to him. You know? And I just pray that you guys would ask God for understanding. Ask him to reveal the truth to you. Ask him. Ask him. You know, and just, you have to let your heart go and say, you know what? I'm going to believe beyond belief that God is real and that he is Jesus Christ and that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. Just believe that. You have to believe it. If you don't believe it, it's not going to work. You have to believe it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, my videos that I talk about and the things that I talk about in my videos, it's only going to work for you if you truly believe. Because a true believer in Christ will agree with me. They will agree on the Word of God, and we're not going to go against the Word of God because we know the Word of God is the answer to everything in life. And that's why I love Jesus Christ, so we can go to His Word. And we don't ever have to argue. We can just go to the Word and see what the Word says. If that's the Word says, that's what the Word says. And a lot of things going on in the world are going against the Word of God. But this is also what God predicts in the Revelation, that the devil will trick the very elect. Even some of the people in high places are being tricked, not knowing what they're doing. You know, there's some churches that are doing practices in their churches that are against God and don't even know it. That's why we must stick to the Bible. The Bible is our key. That's our answer to everything. It is Jesus Christ. And he manifested himself in flesh by Jesus Christ. The word was manifested to flesh. Jesus Christ. Simple as that. You know, so I just want to encourage you guys to keep on. If you, if you do live for Jesus, keep serving him. You know, things are going to get better for us. You know, it may seem like it's going to get worse, but it's going to get better because as times get worse, we know that Jesus Christ is coming back, so it's better for us. So I'm excited. We don't care how bad times get. I know that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is soon to return. And I pray in Jesus' name that you guys are ready. We have to be ready. Get ready. Don't wait and be saved. Change your life now. Give your life to Christ. Give it to Him now. And God will blow your mind with the things that He will show you. Because He's so great and so grand. And He just wants to love you. And He wants you to love Him back. And He wants you to pit Him first. God first above everything. Our girlfriends, if, if guys above our girlfriends and everything. Women above your boyfriends, your husbands, everything. Pick God first. God first above everything and everyone. And remember the word of God and read the word of God and learn the word of God so you can learn of God. And you can hear his voice. Alright, I'm going to bring this video to an end. And I'll be dropping more videos more frequently now. I have my laptop. Um, I'm excited because I'm able to do a whole lot more and I'll be able to show you guys and break down a whole lot more things that I want to do and I thank God for providing me with my laptop you know I actually came up with a sweet deal for 150 bucks um, on offer up thank God for offer up um, it was going for 500 I talked her down to 150 you know brand new 2017 laptop that's the power of God for you you know I just thank God because now I can make better quality videos for you guys to see and enjoy so with that being said you know I'm going to end this, end, this, end this video right now but I pray in Jesus name that you guys stay vigilant you guys stay faithful and then Jesus remember Jesus Christ is soon to return so be ready don't get ready be ready <laughs>